Okay, so the white dress was pretty plain, huh? Actually, all the eye-catching details are on this next project, which is the embroidery. First day is prep day. So I first cut out the fabric from salvage to salvage, and then I measure the ribbon that I was going to trim the apron with, and make sure that I have enough. And then I realized I have more than enough, so I pretend gather the apron onto the skirt to see how full I want the apron to be. I cut off the excess. I hemmed up the apron so that there won't be a lot of frame raw edges to have to deal with later. Cute! Now I'll work on patterning the collar. Lucky I have an existing collar that I can trace. But then it was a sailor collar at the back, so I I wanted it Peter Pan, so I adjusted it. If you don't have an, the light box to trace stuff with, you can always use your iPad. Here I'm figuring out where's the center of the pattern, like the shoulder seam, so that I can mirror the rounded collar at the back. Time to pull out some references. Now I'm sketching the strawberries that I'm gonna put on the collar. And then uh, because I still couldn't really see it, so I decided to lightly color it with some watercolor and to see the color distribution on the collar. I ended the day by refreshing my memory on how to embroider strawberries. This video is really good. I'll link it down below and up above. Now let's start the fun stuff. Okay, to prep the collar, I actually uh, cut the pattern of iron-on interfacing. And I interfaced it on the fabric without cutting the pattern out. So it's easier to put the embroidery loop around it. Why a strawberry dress? Well, strawberries are my favourite fruit and uh, I've been looking at all the brand releases. Just looking at the pictures for inspo. I probably won't buy them. <sighs> There's not one that is perfect to me. Actually, when I look at the pictures, you know, my biggest problem with the strawberry prints is the leaves. I don't actually like the shade of green that they chose. It looks very out of place to me. Making your own clothes is fun. You can make it exactly the way you want it. And for me, it's pieces that I can incorporate with other clothes. And I've worn this with t-shirts and stuff. So it's great. Well, I got tired of embroidering after finishing one half of the collar. So I decided to sew that collar up and see how it looks like. What I did here was to base the frills on and then I sandwiched the embroidery and the frills with another layer of fabric uncut so that I can just sew along the iron-on interfacing and that's exactly the collar shape. So it's pretty handy and I'll get an exact shape without worrying about warping fabrics or cutting it not exactly the same. To be honest, this is the third time I'm doing this. And I decided to add lace. Yeah, because I've screwed up this pattern multiple times. Tried it three times. I do not have any more fabric to do this again. And I'm hoping from all the past, I have enough scraps to make bows. Because <laughs> I guess that is the only thing I have left to make with that fabric. I at least that's about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done. I'll link the tutorial for the the hand sewn buttonholes that I always follow. I made quite a number of mistakes on this. You've known that I've tried three times on the bib, and I think it's still wonky, but whatever. The ruffles are different. This ruffles actually shortened. 
because it was too wide it was different from this one and i had to cut it out and and, and shorten it interrupt myself to show off something that i got boss bought a new printer for the office recently and then they gave him a free label printer and i saw that it has a function to print ribbons and i was so excited i wanted to print my logo and then put it on clothes yeah that's the plan <laughs> so extra i put it and put a tag this homemade item is branded by me and it's the last things which was the armpit straps i used elastics i put eyelets and i sewed the elastic to itself well yeah last thing it's cute i'll model it for you haha <laughs> Cute. I was invited to my friend's house and I straight away wore it. <laughs> One last embroidery day for the apron and we're almost there. I finally stitched up the ribbon from the start of the video and attach the waistband and I'm done! I say it's for the strawberry project but you can clearly see the ulterior motive of matching this apron to this skirt. Can you? I'm sure you can. The next video is about decorating the hat and making a couple of bows so it will be a pretty quick video too. Yeah. <laughs>